Welcome back. All right, so we're going to talk about the career of Steven Stamkos now that he has hit 500 goals. Uh, he's getting closer to that 1,000 game mark as well. He's had a very good, remarkable Hall of Fame career. Yeah, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. There's zero doubt in anybody's mind, I would think, uh, given the championships and everything that he's been able to do and the injuries he's overcome. Really, it's quite the story. He was a number one pick by the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2008 at a time when things are a little bit dysfunctional. So his rookie season, I remember being a, a, a rough ride. Um, that the start of the season and how things were going under Barry Melrose, and then when Melrose was out, how things got better. Uh, it was really something, and he did end up recovering and getting some pretty good totals. So in 79 games as a rookie, 23 goals, 23 assists, 46 points. And I do remember early in that season, people saying he needs to be in juniors, uh, he's, he's, he's a bust, clearly he's not good enough, as well as people saying he's not being used right and they need to start uh, deploying him correctly which turned out to be the more correct of the calls. Uh, he was ninth in Calder voting that year. 2009, 2010, and 82 games. 51 goals, which is first overall in the NHL. 44 assists, 95 points, which is fifth. And that's how you have a great sophomore season. Uh, he wins the Rocket Richard Trophy, and he was sixth in Hart voting. So that's how you become a superstar in the NHL in your second year. Uh, 2010, 2011, and 82 games, he has 45 goals, which is second overall in the NHL, 46 assists, 91 points, which is fifth overall. Uh, in 18 play, or didn't play, yeah, he did play in the playoffs that year. 18 playoff games, six goals, seven assists, 13 points, second team All-Star. He also played in the All-Star game that year, and on July 18th of 2011, he signed an extension with Tampa for five years worth $7.5 million. That was the cap hit. So $7.5 million cap hit for five years. That's not bad. And so, of course, there would have been comments at the time of, well, he hasn't played. Does he really? It seems like a lot for, anyways. 2011-2012, uh, 82 games, 60 goals, which is first overall in the NHL that year. Uh, his best goal-scoring season. 37 assists, 97 points, which is second. He's been second a couple times. He's never led the league in scoring. Uh, second team All-Star that year as well, Richard Trophy. Second in heart voting, and he goes to the All-Star game. So things are going really, really quite well for Stamkos, even as for Tampa as a team, it's not necessarily always going great, but that's fine. 2012-2013, uh, 48 games played. That's the lockout shortened season, of course. Uh, 29 goals, which is second overall in the NHL. 28 assists, 57 points, which is second overall in the NHL. And he's eighth in heart voting. So, superstar, great. But 2013-2014, he would suffer a broken leg. Uh, plays 37 games that year, 25 goals, 15 assists, 40 points. In the playoffs in four games, two goals, two assists, four points. The one thing with Stamkos is there have been numerous points during his career where we felt like, well, now he's going to slow down. Well, now we're going to see the scoring drop off. And he always ends up coming back. So 2014, 2015, and 82 games, 43 goals, which again is second overall, 29 assists for 72 points. In the playoffs, Tampa goes all the way to the final. The 2015 Stanley Cup final between Tampa and Chicago was fantastic. Uh, 26 games played, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. Plays in the All-Star game. But what he really wanted was to end up uh, winning that Stanley Cup. 2015-2016, uh, 77 regular season games played, 36 goals, which is 7th overall, 28 assists, 64 points. But uh, he had a blood clot problem, so that took him out for the remainder of the games, and he only plays one playoff game, doesn't record a point. Plays in the All-Star game, but on June 29th of 2016, he signs an extension. Now what's interesting is, notice it's June 29th when he signs it. There was so much speculation at that point that he was going to go to Toronto. That was that was the one that was out there, and the channel was really young at that point. And I did videos on on Stamkos and how I don't think he should go to Toronto, and I I don't think Toronto wants to pay the amount of money that Stamkos is going to want to get. And I you know and and I honestly thought the best thing for Stamkos would be to stay in Tampa. So he signs the eight year deal. Uh, with Tampa for eight and a half million dollars as the cap hit, which even though it's that long ago, that was seen as a pretty decent deal he's giving them. Like for 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 everything that he could have gotten on the market, I, I thought he gave Tampa Bay a pretty good deal, and it, it helped keep that team, 
you know, intact and, and not in the kind of salary cap trouble. They're in salary cap trouble now because of their own success, but uh, Stamkos definitely did not take as much money as he could have signed for uh, if he'd really wanted to, to, to push for more money. Uh, not that he's poor or anything, uh, according to Cap Friendly. He's made around $100 million in earnings thus far. He's still got some time left in his contract, so he's doing okay. He's doing all right. 2016-2017, uh, with the brand new shiny contract, he ends up with a knee injury. Only plays 17 games, 9 goals, 11 assists, 20 points. And again, you know, you're dealing with a knee injury, meniscus, and all this fun stuff. And the question gets asked of whether or not he's going to be the same player. 2017-2018, the overall numbers showed that his, his goal scoring was down. Uh, 78 games, 27 goals, 59 assists, which is ninth overall in the NHL. Uh, first time he had been top 10 in assists, 86 points. So he's generating offense, but he's doing it differently. He's not getting as many goals as he had. Uh, in the playoffs, 17 games played, 7 goals, 9 assists, 16 points, and he played in the All-Star game that year. So nice long run by Tampa Bay in 2018. They don't quite get to the Stanley Cup final, but they're close. And then 2018-2019 is, of course, that magical year. 82 games played by Stamkos, 45 goals, which is fourth overall. So the goal scoring returned. He jumps by 18 goals following season. 53 assists, so the assists stay high. 98 points, which was ninth overall in the NHL. Uh, it's interesting to see 98 points is good for ninth in the NHL in 2019. Uh, back in 2011, 91 points got you fifth. 2012, 97 points gets you second. It just shows scoring's definitely gone up in recent years. Uh, in the playoffs that year, we know what happened. Four games, one goal, one assist, two points. Uh, did he play in the All-Star game that year? Yes. Was he going to be happy about things when the season was done? I don't think any of the Tampa Bay Lightning players were happy. I don't think any of them were as angry as Vasilevsky, though. I still think back to Vasilevsky at that award show. He wasn't having any of it. He wasn't having any of the jokes about how Tampa Bay had choked in the first round of the playoffs. And so it felt like Stamkos and, and the rest of his teammates really took that to heart, that they had been uh, unceremoniously dumped out of the 2019 playoffs by Columbus in four straight. And so 2019-2020 was a little different. Uh, 57 games played, 29 goals, 37 assists, 66 points. But this is where an injury really sidelines Stamkos. He had core muscle surgeries, notice it's plural, uh, initially, it was thought to be that it'd be six to eight weeks, but aggravations and all this and takes a long time. So he plays the 57 regular season games. He only plays one game in the playoffs, uh, not even three minutes of ice time, uh, one goal scored during that shift, shift or two that he had, and he realized he couldn't go. So he sat on the bench the rest of the game realizing he couldn't go. And they win the Stanley Cup, and he, he does get his cup ring, and I think that this was one of the one of those examples of a team rallying around a player that couldn't play, uh, and that was the case with Stamkos. He just he tried, he just couldn't play. So the question then became one of, so what kind of player are they going to be getting the following season? Because you know all these injuries add up. It's Stamkos though. So 2020, 2021, he only played 38 games the following season. Uh, it was a lower body injury that kept him out there. 17 goals, 17 assists, 34 points. But in the playoffs, he's back. He's ready to play. 23 games, 8 goals, 10 assists, 18 points. Stanley Cup number 2 for Steven Stamkos. 2021-2022 uh, in 81 games played. 42 goals, which is ninth overall. Uh, 64 assists, also ninth overall. So the points, 106, which is 6th overall. I remember it was about a quarter of the way into that season when I said that he could hit 100 points. And there we were. Uh, in the playoffs, 23 games, 11 goals, 8 assists, 19 points. And he did play in the All-Star game again. So, lots of All-Star games, lots of goals. And coming into this season, the question was, when would he hit 500? And the answer should have just been, when do they play Vancouver? So, 43 games played this season, 21 goals, 31 assists, 52 points. Remarkably streaky scoring this year from Stamkos. But I still think he's going to end up with probably 35 to 40 goals. And, you know, the fact that he's still doing this after all the major injuries he's had is remarkable. He's played 965 games thus far in his career. He has 502 goals, which is 45th overall in scoring. 
522 assists, 1,024 points, which is 85th overall. In the playoffs, 117 games played, 43 goals, 48 assists, 91 points. He's the all-time leader in goals. He's the all-time leader in points uh, in Tampa Bay's history, and I don't think he ever goes anywhere else. He's also had international success, 2008 World Junior Championships, won gold there. 2016, at the last World Cup that the NHL had, he won gold there. And in 2009, at the World Championships, he had silver. Uh, but the injuries that he suffered throughout his career, uh, injuries kept him out of the 2014 Olympics. He was expected to be a centerpiece for the 2014 Olympics. And uh, obviously, he had the broken leg that season. And so, yeah, it, it was too bad. In the 2010, he was on the, on the Olympic team, but as a reserve. So he wasn't officially on the main roster for Team Canada in 2010, showing just how stacked Canada was at forward because uh, he's just having a 51-goal season. No biggie. But at any rate, there you go. Uh, the career of Steven Stamkos at 500 goals as promised, although he, he was kind of rude. And rather than having the even 500 goals, it's 502, but I'll forgive him. Uh, it's no big deal. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.